That's a really good question. I thought, I thought about wearing it, wow. you know, like, uh, like, you know, bling. Um, thank you, wrestling. Pretty good. Thank you. you. You roll with the punches. No, thank you. Uh, I love the hit. Frank Castle is in my bones. You know, like Frank Castle is in my bones. Like, you know, I, I can't look. For me, this this series serves as a reminder that you know there's there's a lot of positive messages and principles and in, in a lot of religions. And I think when things go wrong, it's because people, individuals, abuse those messages or uh, misinterpret them. I'm just curious if that's something that popped into your guys' heads while you were filming this, and if you think it's a theme of the show as well. Yeah, I think so. I think that's pretty well said, and I. Uh, it's interesting when when these characters are looking at the inception of this religion, and it's it's actually the makers of the the, the imaginers of the religion and Mormonism that kind of planted the seeds of toxicity from the beginning. This i you know this idea of self revelation, this idea of um, you know uh, well yeah maybe actually men can marry as many women as they want. Women aren't allowed to do the same. That's that sounds like God just told me that like. Okay, uh, is it got, how do you discern between the Holy Spirit and your own selfish desires? Uh, so the fact that we're looking at a religion that was founded um, in on those kind of principles, it's 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 um, it's tricky to go well. Where I don't know where God is in any of that particularly. And I, and I don't think it's exclusive just to that particular organization, and we can look at other other religions that, you know, um, we'll talk about the residential schools, you know, in, in the native community. And these are, these are fallen angel leaders, you know, within a church community. Um, so, uh, yeah, th there's a certain level of, of corruption or misguidedness or um, just a, a power. And it's, it's a human thing, but if you don't have it contained, then, then you can go down a very dangerous road. I feel you've obviously played a lot of guys with a badge. Uh, you know, I was curious to hear that if you thought this series did a good job of staying away from that kind of good cop, bad cop trope, because I think there's a lot of opportunities in the series where that could have happened and, and they, they stayed away from it. Curious if you thought that and, and if, if it's refreshing when you read that in a script that that's not going to happen. Uh, I mean, first and foremost, is the writing will kind of dictate exactly how the characters will be portrayed to a large degree, but then the rest of it is that the, the actors... Um, you know, injunction in that. And I always try to play the characters as human human beings. So it's the nature of whatever those dynamics that happen at the, at the time that those interactions are happening, whatever the agenda of what they're trying to get accomplished. But um, yeah, I think Lance did a great job. Andrew, with your approach to the character, was it tricky at all to find that sweet spot where he's not completely blinded by his faith during an investigation, but it, it kind of interferes maybe a little bit initially, if you know what I mean, like kind of playing it right where it's, it's not interfering too much. Yeah, that was the, um, that was the, uh, the balance to strike for sure in terms of playing the character. You know, that's the struggle. Um, that is the kind of uh, the root of what the character is going through. Like how, where does, you know, where's the conflict in him in himself that um, between his his own religion trying to hold on to his very narrow view of the world and what this case is cracking open and as he does his job and pursues the truth of in his job he is forced to reckon with um, how he's blinded himself how he's been blinded by his his religion that he was born into and um, and, and it all starts to um, dissolve you know the structure of his religion and his psyche start to kind of crumble before his very eyes and he's doing everything he can to keep whatever remains of it together so he doesn't have to completely blow up his entire life and start again but you know the the truth will have its way with you no matter what and i think that's one of the um, the great themes of this this story is that the truth always always comes out and always catches up you know, i was just curious what you thought the other ways were that this project differed from other crime dramas and crime thrillers you've done uh, well, none of the others involved, um, you know, faith or religion. Um, 
I think there's a similarity between all investigative procedurals. You know, they, they've got uh, they've got a mission and they want to find justice and they want to get the bad guys. So uh, to that extent, they're the same. But this really involved a deeper investigation into a, you know a, a crisis of faith for at least one of them, and and uh, the expiration of a system and a, a spiritual paradigm. You know that we're we're going to be looking at and, and how it evolved to come to the place where, you know, this tragic event happened.